Now you remember, this is just a pattern, and uh, this will eventually be made out of wood, stain and urethane. And I don't know how well you can see, but right here we have our ignition switch, amp meter, speedometer, and over here is the starter button. That's my plan at the moment. This key switch over here will just be on and off. And this here will just be start, you know, push it. And whether the speedometer will actually be hooked up or not, that remains to be seen. I do have a real amp gauge that's going to go in and will be hooked up. Uh, that's the idea of that. And you saw me making the pattern for the firewall and cutting out the firewall piece. This will go back in here, all the way back in, and uh, that'll just be the firewall. You can see it from both sides. I've got to bend a lip across the bottom here yet to stiffen that bottom up. So that's not ready to be installed. No, the shifter ain't going to be staying there. That's, that's the original linkage setup uh, from the old Montgomery Ward. And uh, yeah, the transmission's got to turn a little bit. But this would work. But I've got to modify that. This is uh, going to come out so that the shifter is actually out here on the outside. And I did get my battery hold down made. You can see the battery hold down better here. It's an old wrench. Yep. And I welded the nut in each appropriate nut in each end and you can see square nuts and uh, yeah it's got a little bit of a cushion underneath it as well as we have a cushion down here underneath our battery so that should keep it in place I'm probably going to put a, a tie wrap around to hold this up tight there but that'll work that way and uh, that's about all I've got done. Um, as many of you know, I went and had a bunch of teeth out earlier in the week. And a couple of days, uh, well, three days afterwards, um, there wasn't much I could do as far as coming out here. I did come out and putter around a little bit, but didn't get much accomplished. And the uh, biggest thing was... Uh, I did get my garage bay cleaned out a little bit here, but I've got to still rearrange a little bit more, move that bicycle off over to the side so I get my car in, and I'll be doing that tonight. Um, but yeah, oh, something else we got for the goofy cart. We got a, a new set of tires for the back. Um, these are a little bit shorter. And probably a little bit narrower, even though they're 60 series. But they're a matching pair, which these tires here were not a matching pair. And these have great tread on them. They're not dry rotted. And I bought them at online auction. Um, used some of the money I got from my last customer job. So, yeah. That'll be coming up real shortly. And uh, I've got to get this side cleaned out so I can get both vehicles in. I put a muffler on my truck yesterday, just a glass pack. Oh, look what I picked up at the dump yesterday. Another motorcycle wheel. So I have two of them now. Um, one of them is a fat one, and then there's one that's a skinny one in the front there. The one, the fat one in the back, you can see, has disc rotors on it on both sides. So, uh, yeah, we might be seeing those on some bicycle projects coming up. And uh, here's a hint at another project that is going to be starting probably towards the end of next week. Yes, sirree, Bob, towards the end of next week. It won't be... Uh, in the shop but it will be shop related because once it's done 
most all of this stuff over here will get moved out. I'm going to be building a, another shed in my backyard, an 8x12. And uh, so I'll do some updates on that as I progress. And well, you can see I have the, this body is just sitting on here. It's not bolted down or anything. You can see I've got the seat mocked up in here. I've got to get Noah to come over and uh, give his approval. I figured a uh, 2x4 on edge is about the height we need uh, to get the right tilt. But we'll find out that for sure when my main man Noah comes over and gives me the thumbs up. So, I don't know, should I fire it off just one more time? I've, every time I come out here, well, almost every time, I can't resist firing it up, you know? I gotta tell you a secret. I've already ordered another piece to modify my intake system. I have uh, Makuni, uh, aftermarket Makuni copy, I guess they are, carburetor coming for this. So it should be more responsive and hopefully it will be able to be tuned a little bit better than this and one of the things I don't like about this carburetor here this is the original style carburetor for this uh, particular snowblower motor um, and it has the primer bulb on it choke is not a full choke so you can't depend just on the choke for starting um, so you have to prime it first and then the choke gets keeps it going until it warms up a little bit I could change this butterfly I guess and put a complete full one in there but uh, now we're going to eliminate that primer bulb and we're going to put a different carburetor on there and I still have plenty of use for this one. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you is uh, my front hanger on the exhaust I had showed you the the hanger itself but I have it hanging off of a what else a craftsman wrench yes sir e and it does the job just dandy thanks for watching bye now <laughs>